Hey, what's up everybody? Video number two in the 11 part series, graded card order, just a recap. I'll just do this again if you didn't see the first video. 12 card order from last year was 409 cards overall, divided it into 11 separate stacks that are somewhat related. Here are the numbers, arrived in March, went through the process, entered in May, finally went to grading in February 2022, so on and so forth. Got it back in July. And I've actually been sitting on it because I've been doing other things that have been keeping me busy. So it's been sitting in the big box. Let's get into it. This order is all Skybox Sean Kemp. If you saw the first part of the video, you saw that there were four cards actually that weren't graded. And these were pack pooled myself. One of them was a Kemp. 29 cards here. So all 1990 Skybox rookies. As I said, when I submitted these, I was submitting mainly what I thought were tens. We'll see how that works out. Some may have been in the nine range because at the time, the Sean Camp rookies were going for, and this will be the same thing with the Gary Payton, which will be in the third video, around 220, 30, 40, 50 dollars in that range. Payton might have been a little bit higher. Obviously, he's a Hall of Famer. Nine. Start a stack of nines over here. So as long as we're seeing a lot of tens and nines, we'll be good. Hopefully some tens. These cards now, these cards now for tens didn't price it out. I would imagine they're probably in the $60, $70 range. I'll work some current sales into the video when I do editing so you can kind of see what they're going for now. But yeah, certainly far greener pastures way back then. Ten. Yeah, I'm trying to get all 11 parts shot today. We'll see how that goes. It's early morning right now. October 13th today. So, oh, there's an 8. Ouch. 9. Just trying to look at these 9s and see if there's anything. Well, centering on Skybox is a little rough. Sometimes a little bit thicker over there, obviously didn't really notice too many surface issues with these particular cards but some of the cards in the series did have some surface issues print lining things like that nine ten nine what I think I'll probably do is I'll probably just batch up a lot of these nines same thing with the Jordan and the Peyton just batch the nines up and sell them as a lot and make it easier rather than selling them one by one. Nine, eight, we're hurting. Our eight pile's almost as tall as our 10 pile. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go, come on, baby. <laughs> Another 10. Nine, nine, eight. Oop, oh, that's a different card. That's why there were one too many, I thought. Okay, that's actually a Rodman card. That's gonna be in the fourth video. It's a bunch of other Skybox cards I shot that were of the other stars of that era in the set. It was guys like Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Rodman, Robinson, Tim Hardaway, those kind of guys, Vladi Divac. <laughs> Avery Johnson. Avery Johnson. So you'll see that in video number four. But quick recap, we had five, six, seven, eight, eight tens, 16 nines. So eight tens, 16 nines, and four eights. So overall, that would be, what is that? Roughly about 86, 87% tens and nines. Don't have a calculator with me. Close enough. The 10 math, not that great. What is that roughly about? A little bit under 30%, 8 out of 29. I had said 30 at the beginning, but I was pretty sure it was 29 because we had that card in there. And then, of course, we had this guy who made up the 29th card. So 8 10s, 16 9s, 4 8s, and 1 miscut. I must have squeezed it too hard when I pulled it from the pack. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. I'm about to shoot the Gary Payton video. I had 30 
two of those Skybox rookies. So that's next. Thanks for watching, everybody.